Hello, boys and girls, my name is Holtzesty, and welcome back to another A day in Minecraft. Today, we are once again on top of this uh, manual farm tower, which is not yet quite complete. Two farms still uh, missing, and as you can see, uh, we can go quite a bit higher there. Uh, don't know if we actually will need it. But today's project is a chorus flower form. Uh, the design is not mine. It's uh, one by uh, Crimellos. Link down in the description. And this piston should go this way. And, and we will have something on all the four corners. And stone block here, and we need repeaters around here on two ticks pointing in. And uh, then we will go up. Uh, I think on here we need a bit of uh, solid block. And then let me uh, build this up as it needs a bit of uh, concentration. And then we will see how this turns out. Before we go up there again, let's have a bit of chorus tree theory. As you can see, we have four plants here, four trees, and a tree grows from a chorus flower, and a chorus flower can only be placed on endstone. And there it will grow. And it will grow upwards, uh, based on random ticks and it can go upwards or one block to the side as you can see here. And the growth um, continues as long as the uh, flower at the top of each branch uh, has not aged five times. So this is still good but those are at the uh, end of their life. That's why we have here a smaller one with only two branches. And when it branches, each branch will get a flower of their own. So it might be that uh, it basically branches off to the side and up, or we can have two branches like here. And another thing is, it is quite clever as uh, when there is a, a gap above, but it is surrounded by blocks, it will not grow into the gap, but spread out. And it does not really matter at what level this gap is. And this is what we will use for the farm. So let's get a look at it. Now here we are. And it was a good thing that I did this off screen because uh, I messed up right at the start. So here in the middle we have the uh, endstone block on which the flower is placed. It will grow upwards and then under here it will grow sideways in one to four ways. And then the observers will detect the growth of the flower and this in turn will trigger the piston up there which powers this block, which powers this uh, dispenser where we have arrows in, the arrows will shoot the flower and thereby 
dropping the flower itself and uh, then the signal goes further down by uh, this uh, observer here into the node block and from the node block another observer into a block and then the repeater on two ticks which is one block further out than originally so um, behind this one we have the, the piston here in the middle which will lift the uh, end stone block and uh, that will actually destroy the uh, stem of the tree as we have already harvested all the flowers and then i have this uh, water stream flushing everything uh, over here and down onto the uh, hopper line as i'm trying to do more with water streams and less with hoppers so let me finish uh, roof up here and uh, while i'm doing that um, i have a time lapse um, of the running farm so you can see it's actually working i started with 10 chorus flowers and sometimes got one back when harvesting but the whole time lapse took 40 minutes in real time. Sometimes the chorus flower uh, grows quickly and at other times it's painfully slow. It is all random tick based, so you cannot influence it and bone meal does not do anything. I'm using a script here to try and plant a flower at the end stone every 10 seconds and then try to replenish my main hand in case it runs out of flowers from the inventory by using the middle mouse button. As a byproduct of our farm we get these and they do that. And with that you might be able to figure out what the next farm is. If you don't you will have to wait for the next video. Until then Goodbye.